Welcome back to PlayStation Corner, my name is Alex and today we're going to be taking a look at my favourite PSN deals coming in under $10 or your local currency. And here I'm covering the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia with a huge summer sale though starting earlier in the week. This is now my chance to jump into, you know, the cheaper side of things and I gotta say there's a fair few gems out there. So hit subscribe, join our growing PlayStation family and let's get started. So before we do this, as always, I do have a winner to announce for a $10 PSN gift card later in the video, and then one more to give away. Now all you need to do to enter, drop a comment down below, and that winner, they'll be announced in next week's video. So a decent selection of today's games then, as always, they are at new all-time low prices, and we'll start with what is a modern classic, that is Untitled Goose Game with 50% off, it's bringing it sub $10 for the very first time. It's a stealth sandbox game with a great sense of humour, though you're basically a horrible goose terrorising the locals, and you need to manipulate, sneak, and steal your way through this world to complete objectives. It's not the longest of games, but near everything here is incredible, from the art to the objective-based gameplay to the soundtrack itself. It even got a free update adding in two-player local co-op. Alright, so then in Wednesday's video we spoke to Hitman 3. Now if you want a more budget entry point to the series, Hitman 2 it's rocking 80% off. This is another new low and yes, you can get the gold edition for double the price which adds in all content. But if you've waited this long, there's a good chance you don't care all that much so the base game should do you just fine, especially if it's more a case of wanting to try it before you go all in. The usual globe trotting affair though, expect a target, a sandbox location to explore and away you go. And that is where Hitman shines, it's the freedom of choice. Great game though and more than worth this price. Ghostbusters the video game remastered then is better than I ever expected, but even outside the fact the cast return and lend their voice work and Ackroyd and Ramis they pen the script making it feel legit. It's the gameplay that's so fun as you get out there with your proton pack and just take out ghosts. Now locations then from the movies return, you've got new ones that have been added and this remaster visually, I think it looks great as you set out to try and save New York and yeah, basically I liked it back in 2009 and this re-release does it absolutely justice. 75% off though it matches the all time low. So a quick self plug then and the final one but in the any price video earlier in the week I did announce we have now launched Xbox Corner alongside PlayStation and Switch Corner as well. Now if you have an Xbox I have linked it at the end of this video and in the pinned comment down below but we already have there a weekly Game Pass video live as well as two deals videos so maybe jump across even if you just use Game Pass Ultimate for PC we'll have that covered too and over this next week now we should even have our first refuse going live as well. Interested though then we'd appreciate a subscription as we start to ramp things up and hopefully I will see you all across there. Invisible Ink then is about as underappreciated as they come but it's 75% off, it's matching the low price and if you like a turn based strategy this is going to be the one for you. It even has a dash of roguelike in here as well. 10 agents so they take on this world of kind of shady corporations. It's all very micro in its scale meaning the action and challenge is never too far away but yeah random generation and customization it adds to replayability and then this console build it throws in DLC which extends the campaign and also adds new rewards agents and other usable items. Another hidden gem then actually is Walmart's warehouse. It's incredible and yes the price above it's not under $10 but if you do have PS Plus you can take another 10% off and we are good so it is getting in. It might not look like much honestly but it's absolutely packed with charm and the concept here is simple. You work in a warehouse you need to get orders for people and then also unload delivery. So the trick here is create some sort of organization system so you can remember where like over 500 different items kind of live in this world. It's so you can keep everyone based happy and keep yourself moving quick. It ends up though getting real complicated but it is good fun. It has a fantastic soundtrack as well and then the two player local mode just absolutely incredible. Alright so horror fans Layers of Fear 2 is here with a new low of 75% off which I think for this one more than fair. Look you're getting a surreal horror trip that's going to last you right around the 6 hour mark and while its descent into madness isn't quite as effective as the original entry it is still a very cool location. You're aboard a ship almost Titanic-esque during the golden age of Hollywood and it's full of just visual and audio cues to of course you know creep you out. I enjoyed it though and I think any horror fan out there will enjoy it as well. 
All right, so race fans, Hotshot Racing is a small piece of retro genius. I really, really enjoyed this one. Everything from its low poly visual style to its speed, I think it delivers on what it is to be a retro racer. And while it's short with a few, you know, short careers to face with different racers, it is still packed then with extra race types, solo play and online. Though how busy that online is, I will say it's kind of questionable, so maybe pick it up with your friends. What may put people off here though, it's full of rubber banding, so expect those in last place to catch up for you but yeah for me that just added to the arcade nature of it all keeping it kind of tense and this is a bargain new low price of 80% off. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2 then is another retro one, it's channeling the Castlevania roots of its team. You though are a lone swordsman alongside what is a selection of other characters, but it's a side-scrolling action platformer, but the level design is just top quality because each of these characters, they have different skills, meaning different ways to actually progress forward. Naturally though, it's hard as hell and the retro 8-bit style that will not be for everyone, but yeah. It's a new low price here with 45% off and if you haven't played the first entry and you want to naturally you know start there that is also on sale matching the low with 50% off. Peaky Blinders then and this is a good opportunity I always get the question in the comments of where are you from and I am from Birmingham and this is set in my hometown it's around a gang that ruled things that's been totally exaggerated but it's also just entertaining as hell. A pain in the ass to explain this game though it's like puzzle strategy where you move these fan favorite characters around on a timeline and it's all about setting up these almost unison moves. Really good stuff though especially with how low quality games based on movies and TV you know can be but yeah really recommend this one if you like your strategy and with this new low price of 80% off it's just an absolute bargain the only thing I will add though this one it is deep stuff so maybe check out a full review first just so you can get a feel for all of the different mechanics happening all right so for Anna and this is just the base game but this new low of 85% off I think it's about as low as we are going to see now there's a couple of other additions on sale as well they definitely bump that price up but they add in DLC and so on but look Again, if you just want to like test it out, see if it's a good one for you, this will be a good place to start. Now, it's an action fighting game and it has a story, but you should really be coming here for that online play where battles. They typically start in groups, but they progress to often one-on-one -on -one scenarios. It's been a while since I've jumped online myself, but I did have fun with it at the time. Just be warned here though, it's actually an always online game, even for the story, so you need to have that internet connection. So our penultimate game of the week then, that is Hunt Down, it's 50% off, that is matching the low price and this run and gun retro experience is incredible, you battle through this world as one of three characters and basically you just gotta destroy different gangs that are taking over this town. The music though, incredible, the pixel work as well, stunning, this world is just impressive and overall I also just loved it because it gave me kind of you know, old school The Warriors vibes for anyone that remembers that classic bit of cinema. Naturally though then it has a decent bit of challenge to it as well but it's good stuff and I hope we see a sequel in the future sometime soon. So our winner of the week then it's going to Daniel who highlighted the Andromeda Mass Effect entry, picked it up now because they just wrapped up the Legendary Trilogy. A game people love to hate on this one, I don't think it's quite as bad as everyone made it out to be honestly but anyways look, congrats Daniel, drop me an email to claim your code and everyone else drop a comment down below for your chance to win in next week's video. So our final game of the week then, Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. Now we closed with the trilogy in last week's video. We had a few questions in the comments though about the fourth entry getting a sale and here it is with 50% off. It matches the all time low price. It's the closing entry to Nathan Drake's story and here we are out to save our brother. Now naturally a whole lot of like, you know, globe trotting and treasure hunting ensues but it's incredible stuff as they've just mastered the formula from the traversal to the gunplay to the cinematic moments that leave you still in control including what is a seriously memorable bike chase a more than worthy ending though and a must own for anyone with a playstation this has got to be one of the best exclusives on the system and that's another week down now will you be adding anything to the library this week or are you holding onto that cash now remember to drop your comment down below for your chance to win that ten dollar psn gift card in next week's video without then no luck hit subscribe join our growing playstation family and i'll see you all on the next video thanks everyone